Hello students. So this video we are going to see the freehand sketching. So first we need to understand what is freehand sketching. So it is a one kind of orthographic projection. Uh, here the orthographic projection means we used to draw with front view, top view and any one of the side views. So this is normally we will be having. Uh, you can see in your house uh, any one of your building plan. So it will be like that. You know, the front elevation will be available and the top view will be available and the cross section of the building will be available and what are the materials on those specifications will be available on this plan. That plan will be approved by that uh, engineer and the municipality then we can uh, make the construction of it. By, by the way, so this is a basic one. This is a basic problem it will be given for you. So this is one kind of an object. So in this object an arrowhead will be given like this. So this is the arrow mark. So in this error mark, what this is saying it is, so here this is the front view direction, FV, this is the front view direction. So this is what we need to understand, this is the front view direction, in this front view direction, this is the uh, front view uh, direction, in this front view direction, if you are going to see this object, so this portion will be clearly visible and this portion will be visible. So I just made an object that is like the same. So this is the object of it. So you can imagine this object now the, by the, in the same question what it is given. So I have just made it. So here this is the direction of the front view. This is the direction of the front view. While seeing from this front view you can see this green color. So look at this green color. This green color will be visible. This is called the front view. So this front view portion will be above the reference line. This front view portion will be above the reference line. So look at here, these two are the legs will be available and this one bed will be available and here a triangle is there and here a hole is there with the required uh, diameter of hole. So the, here the diameter is 30 mm and all the dimensions are being given in this question. So this is the one and it's the same while the, uh, this is a front view side camera it is available means if you are going to tilt it to the top view, top angle view, if you are going to see means this portion you are able to see the base the bed portion and this top portion will be able to see so look at here this portion you will be able to see so this is a front view direction this is a front view position if you have your camera if you are going to tilt it means you can see like this so this same thing actually above the reference line you have drawn the same thing and below the reference line you are going to draw this one so look at here, in this portion this hole is visible and this bed here a small gap will be available, the bed leg, two legs are there, you can see this. But in the uh, top view you cannot see the legs and you cannot see this hole but you are able to see this bed hole. So here there is a hole of bed, so this hole you are able to see, so this is a uh, top view. Here, here they are asking, they will be asked any one of the uh, side view. If uh, uh, particularly they are asking draw the left side view suppose this is the object this so the objects left side is this one the objects left side is this one so this left side will be if you are going to make the view from this side means this this side view will be projected on the other side this side view will be projected on the other side and this side right side view will be projected on left side that means the other side so this is the way. So always left side view will be projected on the right side and left side will be projected on the right side. So here, so this is one of the left side view. So this will be projected at here. In case this is the object. Here of the object is here. This will be the object. And here the object is here, the top view. And the object front view will be here like this. So now look at here. This portion you are able to see from the side the total width along with the bed, uh, leg and this portion also you are able to see but already we have seen in some color so by anyhow this portion is also visible to you this one side portion is also visible to you but this height you are not knowing so you need to understand this height they you are, you, you are not knowing so but you need to um, identify it so this is the way so this is what the question is given here some of the dimension is also given so before entering into the problem so we need to divide this into some parts. So that is, 
here I will divide this into, uh, I will draw the xy line here now, I will draw the xy line, I just drawn y and x question I have drawn, now uh, see here, so here the total height of this base height is 20 and from here the height is 50. So the totally the height will be what? 20 plus 50 it is 70 we need to draw. So here I will I will be using the pencil. So I need to erase it otherwise I need to just mark it again. So here the leg length is 5. The leg height, the small height it will be 5. So totally it is 20. So I will draw it here. Make the same dimension. So totally it is uh, 20 I will draw a thin line here I will just mark the points alone with my scale and pencil so in freehand sketch, uh, sketching you should not use any scale and pencil and here the total width will be in between 25 and here 15 and here 15 so totally it will be uh, 25 plus 10 it is 35 so here I will mark Thirty five mm, I will mark it here. Then the height. So I will complete the base rectangle, and here it is five mm, and this side it is five, and this side it is five. The height is five mm. I will complete this also, I will complete the leg space, actually uh, in uh, you have to listen it very minutely, in my pencil you are not uh, able to see this, uh, but just I am making small trace on it, so because this is visible to only to me, just you are making the base, next, you are just finding, you are going to find out the center point, that will be uh, 35 the center point will be 17.5 so go from here I'm just making 50 mm here fifty and I will join these two here it has to be a Uh, it should not be a sharp curve, so I will just make an arc like this now. And next, here uh, this height, it is uh, here it is not clearly mentioned, if it is mentioned means from the here it is uh, 20 mm, so you have to fix the center point and again the 30 mm of diameter, it is given. So it's not actually the dimension size which I have given. So you can make it as a 10 mm. So from here also you can make it as uh, 10 mm. So this will be here you need to draw a circle. So later we can see. Uh, if it is not possible means you can also draw another two sides with the same dimension. Like this. Approximately, I have just identified those points. So here I can easily draw the uh, circle here. So this is one way. And next, so this is what the in the front view you are able to see. I am just going to override it. I will override with a pen so I can make it darker. So look at here. I am just drawing. So this one I am just drawing it with free hand I am just over drawing that overwriting it but with my free hand but the dimension and everything I already made with the scale and pencil. So this is what I made it. Next I am just going to trace it and I am just going to project everything here.
and this also I can project it and here also I need to do it so it is uh, radius of 10 mm so from here we need to make that's all next from here I am going to start so here the total thickness of it is 10 10 and here the total length is 60 60 and from here I am just going to make it So this is only visible to me. Now I am going to join everything with my free hand. So this dotted line is for the hole. This dotted line is for hole and here I am just going to draw the bed hole like this I am able to draw it so this is what the thing and here this is the leg dotted line leg space dotted line so this also I can make it here now so this is what the front view sorry top view so now I am going to draw the side view so the left side view can be has to be drawn the left side of your side I'll draw it by I'll start from here and this Thickness is 10. Now I can join it. And here this total thickness is, uh, length is 60. And here I will draw the dotted lines to identify my points and here also and to the leg I can draw the dotted lines. So this will be the side view. So here one more thing we need to do it that is that is the dimensioning. So the dimensioning is by freehand you need to do it this is 10 mm and this is 20 and here the height is 20 and here this is 5 and here this total height is 50 so here one thing you have to keep in mind uh, none of the dimensions should be repeated so that is very important so this is 60 So also you can draw right here this is top view here you can write it here uh, by drawing the two line top view and front view front view and this is LSV that is left side view so that's all so this is your answer for this question so don't worry about the question whatever the question is given look at the arrowhead so this will be the called as the front view 
and look at the dimension clearly analyze the dimension some dimension you need to calculate or you need to assume so then you can proceed it so this is very simple uh, some mistakes will be there anyhow this is a free hand sketching no need to worry about the neatness and all so just this much of neatness it will be expected for, uh, from your side and one second we can see this question so this is the front view look at here the same thing is available here look, this is a front view the same thing is available here sorry top view and look at here the this is the top, uh, front view this front view will be available here this is the front view next this is the side view this is the side view this side view is here so this is what we expected so i just made it by making the color difference the side view only this side and this portion will be seen and the top view this orange color will be seen and in the front view this green color will be seen so this is what we need to make the difference whatever the sides will be seen so the assumption is very very important for this type of question so you have to be very clear on it thank you